Hey, NJ, it's Edward here at Merton Hyundai. Just uh, wanted to make a quick video for you on the beautiful uh, town car here. Um, as you can see, condition is spectacular in the front. Looks really good. I mean, there's obviously it is used, so there's a little bit. We got a little bit of touch up done right here. A little spot right there. Now, the wheels on this. Unfortunately, these older aluminum alloy wheels, they do suffer from this a little bit, so you can see there's a little corrosion on the outside. It's not it's not curb rash, it's actually corrosion in the wheel, it's in the, in the actual material itself. Uh, coming down the side of the car, you can see it's in really nice shape as well. All the wheels kind of have that a little bit, unfortunately. Great tread left on the tires. Back of the car is in really good shape as well. There's some dust there. Whew, it's chilly. We got the uh, gas door there. Looks good. Hasn't been bent out or anything weird. A little bit of a scrape here. Not too bad. It's got the uh, rain guards installed. They're the actual Lincoln rain guards. Down here you can see a little bit of paint chipping here, okay. This one does have the key code entry, which is kind of cool. Mirrors on both sides look good, they're not damaged at all. Again with the wheels, you do have that same problem on this wheel as well. Tread not as good on the front wheels as it is on the back, so it looks like they've had two wheels or two tires replaced. Let's have a look inside. So usually the driver's side is where the, the most wear occurs. You can tell there is some wear on the pull handle here. However, on the seat, it looks really good. So you got your typical uh, leather um, wear here, but it's actually not bad. It looks really good. It's not cracked or broken. It's just kind of stressed, which is pretty typical for 2006. Other than that, the interior looks really nice on this car. Cool thing with this one, you got the little button on the side here to open up the center console. And the center console does flip up for an additional seat. You've also got power driver and passenger seats with power adjustable height and tilt for the power driver seat. Power mirrors, of course, power windows, uh, even power pedals. So the pedals themselves, the brake and gas can actually move forwards and backwards. Just like that. Okay, got cruise control, audio controls on the steering wheel here. It even has a trip computer. So you got your range till empty, average fuel economy. Not to worry, the 18.9 liters is probably not entirely accurate. 137,000 kilometers on there right now. You got the beautiful Lincoln analog clock, CD player, cassette player. <laughs> Uh, dual zone climate control. It's an automatic climate control system. Okay, uh, you got your little power point down here, 12 volt outlet, ashtray. As I mentioned, power passenger seat as well. Tons of room in the back, of course. Center cup holder armrest by the looks of it. I'm not too familiar with this vehicle yet, so yeah, exactly what I thought. Cup holder armrest, perfect. All right, and auto dimming rear view mirror, nice. All right, we've also got the home link buttons up here for garage door or gate. And tilt steering, not telescopic on this car though. All right, so there you go, Ninja. I hope that uh, helps you out a little bit, gives you an idea of what you're looking at and what you're coming out to, uh, to test out. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the car is in spectacular condition. Um, I mean, it's an old car, it's not going to be perfect, but it's still still pretty good. Definitely worth the price we've got it going for. So, Alright, thank you so much, and uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call. Take care.